Today our Jock Safari Lodge Ranger has spotted an African wild dog. It's unusual to spot one by itself. These highly social animals seldom travel alone. The wild dogs communicate with each other through sight, touch, smell and of course sound. This high pitched chatter you hear is just one of the many vocalizations the wild dogs use. It seems these wild dogs were sent to retrieve reinforcements. There is something in the water that is piquing their interest. There is a young kudu that they may have chased into the water. But it seems that none are willing to get their paws wet for this meal. Wild dogs are built to hunt, something which they do very successfully. They are one of Africa's most efficient hunters. Their large rounded ears accentuate their acute hearing. This team with an excellent sense of smell, keen eyes and amazing stamina helps them achieve a 90% success rate when hunting. For comparison, lions, often viewed as ultimate predator, is closer to 20%. African wild dogs live in packs dominated by an alpha pair. Only this couple will breed, but the whole pack will look after and help feed the pups. Their social behaviour really sets them apart from other predators. Often members of the pack will stay behind to guard pups. When the hunting party returns, they bring food, not just for the pups, but for the guards and those too sick or too old to hunt. This ability to work together for a common aim makes the pack a force to be reckoned with. It looks like this kudu's in luck. As the sun sets, the pack moves off, saving the hunt for another day. This sound is usually associated with the beginning of a hunt.